On a hot summer day, there's nothing quite like lamb soup. It's Kjotsupa from Iceland. Join me. So to make this soup, we're gonna start with the usual process of sauteing some onion and garlic in some butter this time. So I've got a few tablespoons of butter. Swirl it around the bottom, just for fun, until it's all good and melted. Once it's nice and melted, we're gonna add in a few cloves of garlic. I like adding in extra just because I like garlic, but feel free to be a wimp. Your choice. Once that starts releasing its flavors into the butter, let's add in one chopped up onion. I'm using a yellow one. Give it a good stir. Let's let this go until everything is translucent as usual. Let's push that all to one side and make room on the bottom of the pan. And we're gonna throw in about a kilo of lamb shank here. You can use any part of the lamb, I suppose, but lamb shank has that nice bone running through it. It'll add a little bit more flavor, hopefully. Let's go ahead and brown the meat on all sides. Some people say this locks in the juices. That's not really quite true. What it does do, though, add a little bit of meat juice to the bottom of the pan. That'll um, help with flavoring the vegetables that are going in. And once it's brown on all sides, let's remove that to make room for our vegetable base. Let's add in a little bit of oil just to lubricate the bottom of the pan. Could also deglaze with a little bit of wine and get that fond off the bottom. Um, I should have done that before I poured in this oil, but it's all right. Didn't really call for it, it's just a little tip. So here I have a sliced up leek and a chopped up carrot. Two carrots. Dump those in, give them a good stir. Get them nice and coated in that butter and oil. And on top of that, add two cubed up potatoes and a cubed up turnip or rutabaga. I can never really tell which one is which. They both kind of look the same. The recipe called for a turnip, so hopefully that's what it was. Or did it call for a rutabaga? I can't quite remember now. Oh well, put in a root of some sort. Wasabi, be creative. Give it a good stir, coat everything in all the butter and oil again. And for some reason, we're gonna add in a very small amount of brown rice. This is 50 grams, about a quarter of a cup. I don't really know what that's supposed to do. Really, like for this amount of vegetables, I would have added in a full cup of rice. Anyway, I'll just follow the instructions, see how it turns out. Uh, next up, we'll add back in the meat, which is oozing blood. You know, it's Iceland, Vikings. And we're gonna cover these guys up with three liters of water. Turn up the heat and bring it to a boil. And you'll see some foam start to form on top. Let's try and skim that. It gets a little thicker the more it boils, so don't do what I did. Wait it out and uh, it'll be a little easier to remove. Once it's fully boiling, we're gonna go ahead and add our seasonings. I've got uh, about a Maybe a tablespoon of salt and a teaspoon of black pepper and a couple teaspoons of paprika. You can use smoked, you can use sweet, doesn't really matter. Give it a stir. Let's reduce it down to a simmer. And we're gonna cover it up for a couple hours. So it's been going for about two, two and a half hours. And the, uh, the fat is kind of 
uh, come up to the surface and it's this bright orange color, which is pretty nice looking. It looks very appetizing, so. Mm. So the lamb hasn't really lent a lot of its flavor to the, uh, the broth here. Um, but instead, a lot of what I'm getting is the turnips and the leeks. Just like all the, the vegetables have sort of melted together to create a nice base. And you can see how thick that broth is. Um, straining this out and using it as a broth for other soups would be amazing, but it's good in its own right as well. And the lamb is just, I mean, you can see it's just fork tender falling off the bone. And uh, just delicious, not too gamey as lamb can be. Um, works really well with all those vegetable flavors, so. Not much else to say about this. It's just a really good vegetable soup with lamb.